Hi guys, I'm Phil Snow, the Fat Loss and Performance Coach here at Meta. How you doing? All right, I hope. Cool, so today we're gonna to talk about the cycle of change. The cycle of change, yes, that's right. So everyone kind of goes through this when we're just about to undertake a new challenge or a new habit. So essentially, you've probably seen this before, but we go through a pre-contemplation phase. So that's where, I don't know, someone's made a comment about how we look, going, uh, oh, you're putting a bit of weight, and you're, and you're like, oh my God, I need to go to the gym. Or maybe you've put on your trousers and a little bit tight than normal, and you're like, oh my God, I need to go to the gym and sort this out. So that would be our pre-contemplation phase. Our contemplation phase would be like, uh, okay, well, I'll go to the gym three times this week. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go on a Monday. So I'm thinking about it, I'm kind of loosely committing to it, but I'm kind of sure I'm gonna do something. The preparation phase would be the morning of, I don't know, packing up my gear, uh, maybe getting my lunch ready so that I'm prepped and ready. That would be my preparation for coming to the gym at least. And then actually taking action would be pulling my ass into the gym and actually doing some workout and some training, maybe even signing up to it. So I'm committing, this is my commitment. After a while then, after we've committed, we're getting into new habits, okay? We're coming into the gym maybe two, three times, five times a week, and we're creating this sort of maintenance phase where we're kind of getting into a routine, and all the time that we're getting uh, going down into that maintenance phase, we go through this progression, okay? We're constantly progressing. There's no such thing as no rest, only progress, Phil Snowden. So, at the maintenance phase, I otherwise know, uh, I otherwise call this the comfort zone, okay? It's easy, like we know we're doing well, we're into that habit, we're probably getting away with a few more foods than we used to, but essentially, we're always looking to progress. We always wanna be moving upwards or downwards in this case. Now, what's really great is, uh, I'd love to give credit to this person who I saw one of his videos on online recently. He uses a, a lifeline, I'll here, like so. So this would be like the striving for success, your ultimate goal. So for most guys, say it's about 10% body fat for ladies, it's about 20% body fat. Now to actually get into this zone here is very, very difficult. And in fact, it can be very miserable and some long, long, lonely nights with chicken and broccoli can be involved, okay? But ultimately, we're still kind of going through this phase here of creating new habits, creating new systems and processes to get us where we want to be. Now that's cool, we get there for the photo shoot, I don't know, or perhaps for our holiday, or for us to get into that dress. And then all of a sudden, we think, oh, we're doing all right. You know, we're in that maintenance phase. I'll have a glass of wine tonight. And we just start taking a step back. Now that's fine, if we're, make, you know, if we're aware of what we're doing so that we can get back onto it straight away and kind of get back into our training and back into our original routine. But sometimes it can be like, okay, Friday night, a bit of wine. Saturday night, maybe a sneaky takeaway. And then Sunday, a big old roast dinner out with the family or something like that with some apple crumble. So then we go right back here and then we kind of come to Monday and like, you know, I'm still doing all right and I'm a bit tired from the weekend so I can't be asked, I won't do it today, I'll go tomorrow and Tuesday instead, okay? So you can start to see the same steps that we've taken to get down to our maintenance phase, we're starting to see a reverse of going backwards and that's where we kind of end up putting the weight back on again if we're talking about weight loss that is, okay? So we know that we've done it before, we can do it again, it's easy. So how do we kind of go about doing it? Well, you've got to know where you are on this uh, cycle of change. Are you ready to change? And mostly, finding someone to hold you accountable so that when you get to here, you know someone's gonna kick your ass and get you back to here as soon as possible. Guys, I hope that's helped out, uh, helped out, beg your pardon. Otherwise, keep it real.